How's everybody doing today? This is Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish and today we are going to tie one of my favorite bugs, a little brown stonefly. And the fun thing about stoneflies is even though they hatch in the colder months and colder water, fish remember them because it's a nice big chunk of protein and it, I don't know if they have fun chasing them or not, but I'd like to think they do. So today we're going to tie the stonefly so that you can get into some fish no matter where you are and no matter what time it is. So let's have at this thing. All right, so in the vise, we have the fire hole 523, and this is the size 10. For the bead, we're using a spawn football bead. This is a six millimeter crayfish brown. Now, to get that bead to sit exactly where I'd like it to sit, I'm just going to add a few non-lead .015 wraps here. And after I cut that edge, just round it over, and then I'm going to cut the back. And I will do the same with that edge, and just mash it down, round it over a little bit. And now when I slide this into that slot of the bead, you see how it just locks it right into place. The portion of the bead that is the beefiest, has the most material there, will be underneath the hook, and that is exactly what we were, were going for. Our thread today, we've got some uni thread 6 aught camel, and so I'm just going to get it started behind my weighted wire there. Trim out the tag, and now I'll begin some angled wraps, not real aggressive, not a lot of pressure. So 45 degree angle, degree angle up and opposite back. And now on this third pass, I'll put some wraps right in between each wrap of that weighted wire. And that pulls all those 45 degree angled wraps down in there tightly and secures all those wires. So for the tail and the legs on this fly, I thought it'd be nice to give it just a little extra movement. So we're going to be using some rubber legs. And one easy way to make sure those are going to split, and this, this is true for biots or any other material, put a little bump of thread here. So three wraps kind of on top of each other. Oh, let's get that one a little bit better there. There we go. Nope. There we go. Okay. And now when we tie in this rubber leg, it'll split. 45 degree angle for us off of each side of that shank. So I've got a root beer, grizzly micro leg, and all I'm going to do now is cut it in half. So I've got half of that leg and then I've wrapped it over the thread and bring it right to the top and place it right where I want. And then I'm going to take one thread wrap in the front. Now I can let go. These aren't going to move anywhere. So I'm going to grab one of these legs with a 45 degree angle be behind it and then on top. And I'll do the same with the one on my side. Split it there with some thread and over the top. Now when I tie these back down once and twice, they should split off the shank there, uh, matching and opposite angles. And now I don't have to worry about those guys moving either because they're, they're essentially locked in because of the way that we just made that little bump and then locked them in with our thread wraps around it. So now we're going to put in some wires here for the body. And so for the wires, I'm using some ultra wire. This is size small. And as you can see here, I've got two pieces of copper brown and one piece of gold. And I'm just going to get that side by side lined up and then I'm going to trim all the ends so that they're even and when I tie these in I want the ends of those wires to meet up against the rear portion where we tied in the weighted wire earlier. Get that all locked in on the top of the shank. And I know this is the bottom of the shank but since this is the surface we're working on we'll just reference it as the top. Get that really tied in well and the nice thing here is if you can keep an, a relatively even underbody with your thread, it'll make wrapping these wires just a little easier. 
So bring all three wires up before we start and make sure they're not twisted anywhere. And I'm going to turn this a little bit as I start these first few wraps. And hopefully it wants to play nicely for us. It's usually a little tricky getting around that, that hook point when you're getting started with this. So just take your time. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, luckily fish are pretty forgiving on that deal. You know, the, sometimes the, the more realistic bugs don't get eaten as often as the one that's just a, a little bit shaggy or not tied quite perfectly. You know, fish are fish, are fish so who knows why they eat what they do aside from they're opportunistic and it's eat or die situation for the most part. All right, so now what we want for this stonefly is not the typical one-third, two-third for the body, but we're looking at a half and half. So right about here, bring this thread back down and tie off our abdomen at roughly the halfway point. And we can always tie in over that, so make sure you go at least two or maybe just slightly past the halfway point. And there we go. Cut out all three wires. Pretty close there. And then just bend back the edge or the ends with your fingernail and then a couple thread wraps over those and we're good to go. All right, so now we're going to add in a little wing case. And for that, I've got a strip of thin skin and this is the modeled Bustard Natural you can see that and all I'm going to do is create a small crayon tip end on um, one portion of this so I can tie it in a little bit easier. You don't have to if you don't want to but you can see there I've given it a little angle on both sides there and what that does is enable me to come in and just pretty much grab and then also place before tying down. So remember where our, our tie off spot is there for the wire and everything else that we've got going so we're going just past that with our wing case so that when we do bring that over our thorax we don't have any thread exposed back here that's all going to be covered up and look nice and neat all right get that wrapped all the way back up maintaining an even underbody for this thorax so right about here at the midway point I'm going to take our other one half of that rubber leg that we used for the tail and I'm going to cut it in half again. And for this, I'm simply going to tie it in in a V if on both sides. So we're only going to have two legs. We're not going to have three. But again, we're, we're going to fish for trout for the most part here with this. And trout have not yet figured out how to count. So until they do, if you want to put two legs instead of three, by all means, feel free. And now let me tie one on on your side. And let's see how we did there. Even that up just a touch. I get one wrap less. Not too much pressure on that. That yeah, should be do. No. I don't want it moving around too much there. There we go. Always check your work on both sides, make sure it matches up. And once it does, now we're going to advance that thread. So we've got about four wraps in between the legs there and advance it to behind the bead. Now all we need to do is fill in that space. And for that, I've got some spawn semi seal. And this is sand dab or sculpin and as you can see, this will pair nicely with the, the head color, the body color, and also the legs. We don't need a ton of dubbing here. You know, as, as big as stoneflies appear to be, the bodies are somewhat slim, albeit, a, I mean, it's a sizable meal for a trout, but we don't need to go crazy on, on making this thing really big. All right, and a little more maybe, let's find out. So now from here, I've got probably a four inch dubbing noodle. I'm gonna just scrunch it up a little bit closer to that bead. Now let me pull everything out of the way and start wrapping back to that 
leg and right about there I'll get some between that set and then onto my side and now here I can come behind this leg and then behind the one on my side and do this all the way back until we've covered up that tie-in area from our wing case and this is what I was talking about so now we've tidied up that whole underbody there's a nice transition there without seeing thread any of the other stuff to let anybody other than us know that yeah we tied that fly we're, we know what we're doing here all right so and how tidy you want the flies well that's completely up to you that's the beauty of this no hard set rules and don't let that catch that leg and finish right there all right got some loose fibers here now that we've got our legs and our dubbing all tied in from here it's just a matter of pulling this wing case back all the way over to the back of the bead there and tying it down and let me check the position on that thin skin I like that separate those legs a little bit if you want to now's the time I'm okay with that and continue tying down that thin skin so from here I'm gonna bring the thin skin back over itself and just get a couple thread wraps in the front of that and that way when I trim this thin skin out it can't slip and undo itself from those first thread wraps I'll trim there and a couple more thread wraps and it is time for a whip finish or two and we've got one whip finish there let's give her another one that's because this thing is going to get chewed up pretty badly and we welcome it one two three four five wraps on this one call that good and and there we go and since I do not see any of my cement laying around just imagine that we go and put cement on those thread wraps which I hope you guys do at home and then from there if, if the legs are a little long what we're looking for is when we push these back they should just be slightly longer than the end of the body or right at the end of the body nothing crazy again these are just going to add a little bit of movement for us on you know a wire body fly that might normally be a little bit stagnated for the tails i'm going to just measure with my scissors here roughly one body length and that's going to be my cut and, and there we have it so there is a little brown stone wire body rubber legs rubber tails a bunch of movement nothing crazy but man does it get the job done so go tie a bunch of these up let us know how they fish for you. Anything else you want to see, please tell us in the comments. And if you'd be so kind, please hit like and subscribe. And we will see you guys on the water.